Hello again. Um, some of you have been asking me what was it that made me wake up or decide to research outside of the organisation. So the start of that was basically, as I said in my letter, um, the Australian Royal Commission, which I did watch back in 2015. Um, I found it very disturbing and upsetting, but I was confident that the brothers were going to make the necessary needed changes. Um, so I held on and I waited for the conclusion and the findings, which were released last November. What caused me to wake up was that shortly after the findings were released, and they were very damning, really, on the organisation, a, a JW Broadcast released a morning worship by Brother Gary Bro, um, which went around the houses a lot talking about different subjects, you know, how a, how a brother might slip into watching pornography and lose his sound reasoning because he had a disfellowshipped family member or um, a parent had died. And uh, towards the end of the talk, he spoke about what were apostates and others talking about the two-witness rule. And um, he didn't relate it to the Australian Royal Commission, but I knew that what he was saying was related to that and he basically said we will never change our stand on this matter basically the two witness rule is always going to be in place um, this brought a tear to my eye because I really did trust that the brothers were going to make these necessary changes not long after that um, the Gilead graduation was released on the broadcast and as always, as always I, I watched that all the way through. And Brother Numair, Mark Numair, gave a talk uh, towards the end of the Gilead graduation, I think it was. And it was about a Bible character called Rizpah. Now, I was already familiar with this character. There's not much about her in the Bible. Um, and basically, I don't know if anyone else has listened to that talk, but he twisted the scriptures it it was um, it was amazing how far he twisted those scriptures because there's very little on this woman Rizpah, and the message that he sent out, how he twisted it to sound was that whether you're a victim of some kind of injustice or you see injustices going on, just keep silent, um, just get on with your ministry, bury it down. Your silent example. Um, will testify to you know your Christian course and um, from that point on I knew that there was something dark about this organization it was like the scales just fell from my eyes you know I was just at that point where I thought to myself I'm looking at everything you know I've been in this organization almost 25 years and I've never looked at outside sources for information but on the basis of those two talks how deceptive the double talk the propaganda I could just see it as clear as day and I, from that point on you know I said to my husband I'm looking at other stuff I've got to research this organization so that was basically it so you can all imagine the roller coaster after that you know finding out the truth about the truth um, I'm sure it's a journey that most of you have been on um, and uh, so yeah that's what initially led me to the point of disassociating myself.